Clayton Stanfield from eBay Motors, uh, the website where you can buy pretty much uh, everything and anything. And uh, one thing uh, some people might not know is that you can also buy a car and sell a car there. How are you, Clayton? Good, thank you for having me. No, thank you for, for taking the time. And uh, as I said, uh, I mean, uh, everybody relates uh, to eBay in terms of buying and selling small stuff, maybe. But uh, buying and selling a car is uh, more serious stuff uh, because just the amount of money and the, all, also the logistics of, of that, right? Yes, buying yeah, buy and selling on eBay as far as a vehicle is a little bit different just because of yeah, the pure amount of the money spent and also the condition, you know, um, like when you're, for example, buying a car on eBay, and you're buying a you're buying a 2013 Honda Accord. We know what that car looks like. We kind of the price. We kind of know the shape. But it gets a little bit more um, fun, I think it is. But you know, and a little more adventurous when you start looking at vehicles that are maybe 10 years old, 15 years old, maybe a, a 1995 Honda Accord where a really nice one is a thousand dollars. Yeah. I mean, I mean, a bad one's a thousand, and a nice one could be seven thousand. So yeah. We, we see, you know, we talk to our buyers and sellers and say, you know, you spend a lot of time doing some research on these vehicles. You know, as a, as a seller, you've really got to spend a lot of time where in most of eBay, you just take one picture. You don't even care if the picture's that good of a picture because it's an iPhone or it's, the, you know, a pair of speakers. But now you're saying, I've got a car, and as a seller, I want to get as much as I can for it. So I've got to put all of the value out there and all the photos. And the buyer is looking at that same car going, how do I make sure I get the car I want? And also it shows up in the condition that I expect it to be in. And so, yeah, there's, so there's a lot more to a vehicle. Yeah. But it, so it's like the ultimate level of trust in the transaction because, as you say, like both parts have a, a good interest in the, in, in, in the business. And um, I guess the scary part, of, I, mean, I don't know if scary is the right word, but... Uh, The, the part that might have uh, some people thinking it twice about it is just that. Like, I mean, one, you're not seeing the real car in person. Two, it not might be near where you are. Right. And so that's, yeah, and that's, that's eBay, right? So it's, it's, it's got the positives, but also things where you need to make sure that you keep an eye on to keep it positive. Yeah. For example, my, uh, you know, I live in Reno, very small little city. And when I use eBay, I use eBay to shop for cars that I just don't, I know aren't available locally. Yeah. Right? So if I go on there and, You know, if it's snowing and I want to buy a Subaru, there's no, all the Subarus in Reno are sold, right? So maybe I'm looking outside <laughs> my area. Yeah. And, uh, so, you know, you, what we usually say is people are looking for convenience, they're looking for selection, and they're looking for price. Um, you know, on, on eBay, I can buy a car with my, my mobile phone. There's about over 13,000 vehicles sell every week just on a mobile phone. So that shows us that buyers, if they trust the process, You know, they'll go and they'll buy the car, sight unseen on their cell phone, and it's up to eBay and the sellers to kind of make sure that we, we build this experience where they see the pictures they like, they get the inventory they like, they get the pricing they like, and then we kind of wrap that whole thing up with some trust. Yeah. Like, eBay backs it. A lot of times we have car dealers who back it. There's protection programs, you know, and, and all of our listings also have vehicle protection program. I mean, uh, excuse me, vehicle history reports on it. Yeah. So that's It's, really what we do as eBay is we build this marketplace where sellers can sell cars that maybe they can't sell locally, or maybe it's just a collector car they can sell for more money on eBay. Yeah. And then a place that a buyer can, yeah, look at a car that's across the country or even across just across town sometimes, and so okay, I trust that car. So can we go a little bit uh, step by step? Because for example, I know when you want to sell or buy anything on eBay, you have to register. And if you're selling, as you say, like a pair of speakers, like a, uh, like an old camera or something like that, I mean, you register for that, maybe you sell a few of those ones uh, uh, every year, but if you sell a car, buying and selling a car is not, not something that you do every week. So how does that, I mean, if I've never done anything on eBay, What, what do I do first? So, yeah, the first thing you do is get, a, get an eBay user ID. And this allows you to sell on eBay. Um, buying, too, if you're going to bid, you know, you need a user ID. But I'll, let's start from the seller's point of view. If you're selling on eBay, you get a user ID. And as soon as you get a user ID, you're allowed to sell on the site. Now, you 
know, I, I actually sell a lot of cars. I've probably sold 50 cars on eBay myself, and I also sell music equipment. Um, if I go and take a picture, I, I have this weird old drum machine I just put on eBay. I took a picture of the drum machine, a picture of the box, and a picture of the instructions. There's no other pictures needed, right? It's just three photos, put it out there for 250 bucks, wait for somebody to buy it. Yeah. Now, on, on a vehicle, though, I am also have, I have a car for sale, and I just sold a boat on eBay last week, I actually. I need to take... 25, 30 photos, because I'm thinking, you know, as people shop for this, they want to get really down the line. So I get my user ID, I go out to my car, I, take, I clean the car, and I make sure it looks really good, because I want to get the most possible. And uh, we know that the cleanest cars, the best photos, get the most interest, right? Because uh, just, just to pique the interest of somebody like Lisa, who is in Detroit, if she's going to look at this car, the picture's got to look good. Won't go to eBay and say, "Hey, let me find an ugly car." Um, <laughs> yeah, people, right. People go most, you know, a lot of people go to eBay are real enthusiasts. They, uh, they've been shopping for the car. They might know the car they want. They can't find it locally, or maybe they're just trying to save a couple hundred bucks. You know, but usually it's, I know I want this BMW M Series vehicle with thirty thousand miles. I know I want it gray with red leather, and they just don't have that vehicle. So, as a seller, I've got to present this. So I go out there, I, I take my photos of the car. We keep it nice and clean. I write a description of the car so that it's as honest as possible. You can sell cars without a motor on eBay as long as you tell everybody there's not a motor on eBay, yeah. right? Um, and I've sold I've sold thousand dollar cars and I've sold thirty thousand dollar cars on eBay. It all comes down to that word transparency. And all is all this like the, the last car I sold was like an eight thousand uh, dollar. Yukon, I said, hey, I bought this car new. It's a beautiful car. You know, it's got it's got 186,000 miles, so it's got high mileage. But also know that I've had it serviced by GMC every time. To me, this is the most amazing vehicle in the world, but please know it's got high miles. And then, you know, the leather's in good shape. But here and here, what happens is people bid your cars because the biggest thing they have to be able to do is convince their brain that the car they're bidding on, whether it's $1,000 or $100,000, is what they think it is. Yeah. Now, if they, if they look at my listing and, and think there's any doubt the car is what it is, they bid low. If the pictures are bad, the description's bad, and I have a ten thousand dollar car, people bid three, four grand because they're kind of hedging their yeah. bets a little bit. So uh, uh, let's say let's say that both parts uh, agree on the on the on the, the sell or the buying of the car. I mean, then and if they're not in the same city and they cannot meet personally. What's the next step? Because, I mean, there are some logistics that have to be arranged, right? And, like, for example, where does the money stay once the transaction has begun and and uh, after it's done? What, what happens? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. This, this is really where the reverence the road for us. It's, so there's a couple things. When you find a vehicle you're interested in, you can always ask for more pictures or a video, but you can also write an eBay. In any listing, there's a little, click, a little button that says order inspection. So you can order an inspection from a company called Inspect My Ride. It's about a hundred dollars. They'll go out there and do a hundred plus point inspection and come back to you and say, "Yeah, the car looks in good shape." So you can you can do that. Most of the vehicles have a vehicle protection. I mean, a vehicle history report. But you can always order one if you don't see like it comes with auto check. But you can always order a car fact on top of that if you want to like, triple check everything. Then when you actually buy the car on eBay. Ebay is the marketplace. We put the buyer and seller together, but we don't take, we don't work as an intermediator. We don't take the money. It doesn't go into escrow. The buyer directly pays the seller. So what the seller will usually do is say, "Hey, I need a deposit within three days and full payment within seven, or I might sell the car again." Right? They want to make sure they're serious. Yeah. Um, and then what the site does is it, the buying. I mean, uh, sorry, delivery is up to the buyer. But right in the middle of the listing, there's a, a shipping tab, and you click on that shipping tab, and it'll say, "Hey, do you need financing? Here's what it would cost per month to buy this car. Do you need shipping?" And uh, we have a company called uh, U Ship that manages our shipping hub. And you look on there, you click on there, and there's five companies that have it's just instantaneous shipping quotes to ship this car to your house. So the whole process, and, uh, the whole process. I mean, there are steps to to follow the whole process, just within the eBay motor site. Yes, we, we had to put that in there, you know, because what I found, I've been doing, I've been to eBay almost eight years now. Is uh, the, the hardest part for people to understand? We've all bought cars. We understand. The hardest part was people to really understand getting it from the seller's house to their house. Yeah. What that entails. It kind of comes out that, that white elephant. So we teach our sellers to to help with this, but it doesn't always happen. 
Um, so but a buyer can go right to the site. They can actually look up airfare to the city. They can look up shipping to their house. And But there's a couple ways. You know, if the car is being shipped, usually what we'll say is, let's say you're buying a car. You can buy, you know, over probably over half the vehicles on eBay are sold by a dealer. If I'm buying a car from a dealer, they're going to send me the paperwork. I'm going to fill it out, send it back to them. Once the paperwork's filled out and the financing is done, you know, like if I use USAA, they will send a check right to the dealer. The dealer will say, great, I've got funds. They sign up for the title and paperwork. They'll ship me the vehicle, and the title will come in the mail. Yeah. Uh, well, just, right? Yeah. Private property is a little bit different because they don't, have, they don't quite have those processes in place, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's, you know, they're going to probably put a set of keys in the car and a title and, you know, and all the paperwork and some FedEx envelopes and send it to you. Yeah, excellent. Uh, we're talking to Clayton Stanfield from eBay Motors, and unfortunately, I mean, we're running out of time here. We only have, like, less than a minute, really. So, I mean, it's for people to just go and do the process there, just visit ebay.com, right? And, and go from there. Yeah, go to ebay.com, search for the cars you like, look at two or three vehicles, look at the pictures, look at the feedback of the seller. You know, and just use your best judgment as you're going through there. You can call these sellers up, have them explain their, their value prop and what they do, and at the end of the day, you're still buying a car from somebody you trust, and what eBay does gives you the safe environment to do so. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Clayton. And also, there's a blog, right, where they're like, they, they, they keep up with the news and everything, all that is going on in the outer world, right? Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Clayton. And uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Okay, thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.